What's up fellow gamers, welcome back to A-King's Creation, your go-to channel for educated gaming and viewer interactions. Today we're diving into the hottest question going on around the community right now for the first Ascendant. Is this game pay to win? Let's break it down and see how the open beta showed us the answer to this question and what we will most likely use our hard earned cash for. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more First Ascendant content on the channel. First, let's take a quick look at what the First Ascendant offers and where we can use our real life cash for purchases. Caliber is a very rare resource used to purchase special items including Descendant skins, paint, and weapon skins. Credits are a currency that can be exchanged for Caliber and also can be used to purchase storage space, Descendant materials to craft and unlock them. But if you notice in the beginning of the gameplay of the First Descendant, you choose between Ajax, Lepic, and Viesa, but they all had similar attribute levels. Interesting. Cuba shards are a currency used for module enhancement. FYI, I got over 50,000 of them in 13 hours, so definitely not a pay to win currency. Gold is used to purchase researching requests, enhance modules, and more. More than likely can't be bought with real cash. Plus I got over 1 million gold in less than 12 hours, so definitely not a pay to win currency. Now for the vendors you talk to in order to purchase items with these currencies. Talk to the Descendant Instructor allowing you to purchase paint, Descendant skins, and weapon skins. Talk to Anias and allowing you to purchase Descendant material to be able to unlock Descendants. Walk over to the storage in Albion or in camp locations so you can expand your storage space. Okay, now that we covered and took a look at what the First Ascendant offers and what you can use your real life cash for, for purchases using the currencies within the game, let's see how this all relates to the question, does this game offer pay to win? Is it pay to win? All right, based off of the currencies explained, and how to get them and what the game has offered in the open beta i personally believe that this game will not be uh, pay to win and i'm going to explain why many people are asking why this could be a pay to win game and i'm going to explain to you guys for those who may not know what pay to win is is basically in the definition that is why people are asking Pay to win is a term used to describe video games where players can gain a significant advantage over other players by spending real money on in-game purchases or resources. They can include things like better weapons, armor, uh, characters, or even just in-game currency that can be used to purchase these things. Pay to win games are often free to play. What is the first ascendant? A free to play game. So do you see how that question is the, being the hottest question right now around the community? Because mainly free to play games are pay to win. Now, this meaning is that anyone can download and start playing them without spending any money. A player might have to grind for hours to earn enough in-game currency to buy new items or to buy new weapons. While a player who is willing to pay real money can simply purchase the weapons immediately. Did any of those examples check those boxes? It's important to note that there is a difference between pay to win games and games with microtransactions. Not all games with microtransactions are pay to win. For example, a game might sell cosmetic items that do not give players any gameplay advantage. And for what we've seen in open beta, all the currency has been related to has been skins and paint and materials. And these games are not considered pay to win. However, if we allow Nexon or Nexon allows themselves to include this in the game, they will make the game pay to win. And that will be allowing players to purchase in-game items or resources that give them a significant advantage over other players. Now, this could include leaderboards. Now, if leaderboards is included in the game and they allow people to buy these credits to purchase um, descendants or purchase materials for specific descendants, descendants might have like a higher DPS than other descendants, whatever the case may be, then they will then become paid to win. Now there is no PVP, so theoretically it does not matter because 
significantly is just going to help you because it's a team based game anyway. It's um, all, you know, squatting, raids, parties and raids. You can solo missions in open world, but people could join you. So it's basically an ally based game. So there isn't no um, significant advantage against each other, more so just competitive wise, like leaderboards or et cetera, or like that, if they do incl include that, which still would then become pay to win. Based on what I showed you in the open beta and what pay to win is, do you honestly believe the first descendant is truly a pay to win game? Will you spend money on anything in game? If so, what? Or will you just unlock everything through the gameplay grind itself? Let me know your answers in the comments below. Thank you for watching this in-depth analysis of the First Descendants hottest question in the community. If you found this video helpful, like this video and share those thoughts below. Don't forget to subscribe on your way out for more educated gaming. Until next time, we'll be diving into the full release of the First Descendant.